the CDC is saying that this is based on new science, new data, showing that even those who are vaccinated can carry the virus with them. They can be contagious. This seems to contradict what we've been told, that once you get vaccinated, you're protected. Well, in some respects, yes. But what's changed, Judy, is the virus has changed. So when you have vaccinated people who might have a breakthrough infection, and we know now as a fact, as a scientific fact, that they can transmit the virus to an uninfected person, it's for that reason that the CDC made the change in recommendation and did just as you correctly stated, namely that if you are vaccinated, if you are in an indoor setting, you should still wear a mask. I hear you saying it is based on science, but to many Americans who are by now pandemic weary, do you understand why they may be looking at this? And we're hearing this from some, from a number of Americans saying, well, why did, why did the CDC change the guidelines two months ago? What were they, did they jump the gun when they did that? Or they're asking, you know, why weren't they more transparent in the beginning? People are asking these kinds of questions. Those are reasonable questions, Judy, but I think what we all need to realize is we are dealing with an evasive type of a virus. It evolves so that people need to understand it's a, it's a painful realization, but it's true. We now know that it is a scientific fact that a vaccinated person can infect someone, right? They can infect other people. That's what he said, right? It's a scientific fact. We now know that it is a scientific fact that a vaccinated person can infect other people. But we have employers and people clamoring for not only mandatory vaccination, you know, but victimizing and discriminating against people who don't want to be vaccinated and saying that they could infect them, like if they, like if it don't go the other way. Is scientific fact. The host said, well, you know, why didn't you all realize this two months ago? Why wasn't it more transparent? His response is that the virus evolves. It keeps changing. The only thing changing and moving is the goalposts. Good? If you do not understand that you're a puppet on a string, and I see people are talking about it, and they're just playing with you, and how you're running wrong in circles and dancing, and locking yourself in your house now, and shutting down your business today, and then opening it back tomorrow. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. It's evolving. So if it's evolving, right? Explain me this, Director, real quick. Just pick. Push out your head by the door there. Let me ask you a question. If we're dealing with a tricky virus that seems to be outsmarting everybody, this virus is the, this virus went Harvard, right? And then law school, and then medical school. This have this virus are all the education in the world. Good? Nice. What would I say? So if we deal with a virus that they don't understand fully or didn't understand fully, that keep changing and evolving and beating you and your vaccine, how logically, no, how logically could you not only create a vaccine to deal with it, But then tell me that everybody should be vaccinated. <laughs> huh? No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw those. <laughs> this is all 
unbelievable. This is unbelievable. So you created a vaccine for a virus that you didn't understand in six months. And you're attesting to the safety and the efficacy of the vaccine from six months ago when it was now created, saying that 90 something percent and this one 70 something percent. No! After people went and they get a shot and they inoculated and you, you promised them we're going back to normal. Right? Now you're saying that the problem is it evolving, the virus that is. And so in other words, what you're telling me is you didn't know what the hell you was doing in the first place. And this is what we want to mandate throughout the world.